All right, I'd like to call. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to call and open the meeting for the Livingston Parish Council uh, finance meeting for Thursday, January 27th. It's about eight minutes to six. Miss Sandy, can you call the roll? Mr. Pye. Here. Mr. McMorris. Mr. King. Here. Mr. Orton. Here. <clears throat> All right, we got uh, old business. Anything we need to discuss, guys? No old business. No old business. New business. Miss Jennifer. Good evening. It's been a minute since I've been up here. Yes. I know. Where you been? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have the giant check register this time because I printed it from like November 18th. I think November 17th was the last finance meeting that we had that I was here for. So you have a giant checklist, and the first check on the check register is quite large. But don't let it scare you. It is simply for the debris, the debris. that is ongoing. We'll get that back at 100% of the first 45 days. Nice. After the 45 day one, we'll get back at 90%. Okay. So um, I didn't want you to see that and be like, whoo. That's nah, okay. We had a major deal happen, you know. I got a question about that. Every car lot you go to, they're empty. So how is that going to affect us? I, I mean, what are they? How are they? Yeah, it hasn't slowed up yet. So, so that's it's the only thing I'm scared of is that yes. you can't even buy a new truck if you need a truck. You know, so well, I'm. Their values on used vehicles are ridiculous. Well, I know they are, but they don't. They don't have those on the lot either. Right. You know. Yes. So I'm hoping it doesn't just. So what do we? Right. You know what? I'll. Off the top of your head, what we normally get in a, a year on automobile sales tax? Uh, four, we're at four million right now. So far. Four okay. Wow. Yeah. And, See, so we. And, we and listen, we thought we would have a bottleneck effect after uh, the 2016 flood. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. When everybody Everything bought Everything was elevated with material purchases and rebuilding, and we thought, well, sure, you know, if this is rainy day, save it because it, this will fall out, and it never did. Yeah. Well, they said so, they had to have cars too. I mean, the parish was, is just growing that rapidly. I think, and we're bringing that much new business in that are that's paying the taxes. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's good. Not to mention inflation, but driving and inflation. Driving yeah, that doesn't. Off, which is going to drive revenue. Sure, it is, Miss Chang. Yeah. So, I mean, just looking at looking at it, if you project what we've currently been receiving for a month, it looks like we'll collect about twenty five million this year. Is it, are I reading this correctly? Is yes, sir. That is correct. Yes, sir. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, it is. What did we budget? I, I don't have that in front of me. What did, what did we budget? We budgeted. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Twenty-two and two thirds. Plus. But Jennifer, all sales tax revenue is earmarked. I mean, it's all correct. It's all it is all restricted here. revenue right, for roads. So the only unrestricted revenue we have is on that the millage. Uh, no, sir. That revenue is restricted also. The, the, the ad valorem revenue for the roads is restricted for the same purpose as sales taxes. I mean, the five bills, but the 2.32 that we collect. That's in the general fund, yes, sir. The only, the only unrestricted revenue that we have is going to be inside the general fund, and those are um, any royalties that we get from waste management, any user fees for... Um, the permit department, the planning department, the environmental department. Um, we get some uh, oil and gas royalties and then the 2.32 mils of ad valorem is unrestricted. And that's running probably what, about a million and a half, two million a year? 
Um, 1.2 on ad valorem, and then um, 2 million on permits, and royalties are about $4 million. Now take into account, so, so that, you know, in the general fund we get about $10 million worth of revenue a year, but that is where all of the Louisiana revised statute mandated costs come out of. So out of that money, we have to pay for the coroner's office, uh, the DA, the, you know, the council office, all of those things that are, the law says we have to fund come out of that unrestricted revenue. So, so it's, we have a little bit left. It, it's mandated that you use it for that. Yeah. You, we have to pay yeah. for those expenses, right? Okay. Oh. Um, so one more thing that I have really quick, I'm sorry. Okay. The, all of that's good news good. or at least not bad news. Right. Here is the bad news. Yes. I um, got off the phone with my insurance agents today and I had warned y'all last year and we were hoping maybe it would not happen, but remember I had warned y'all last year that property insurance was in expected to increase by 40%. It's increased by 26%. So it's not as bad as we thought it was, but it's still terrible. And we have managed to get some properties sold. And I think we, there's a few more in the works that we've just not done the paperwork final on those. Um, so our new premium, and I have some decisions for y'all to make. So our new premium for property is $461,000. Last year it was $288,000. What did we what did we budget the, for the, the issues with we only I only budgeted half a million for property insurance so that'll have to get bumped up um, so the issues with property insurance right now are because we have five issues in Louisiana last year that, that damaged Louisiana it's the worst insurance in, in Louisiana's history it's never been this bad the agents are saying um, Certain underwriters are mitigating their risk in Louisiana and they will only write up to $10 million limits and that's what we're running into is we have more than $10 million of total insurable value. So we are having to stack policies through one underwriter we can write $10 million worth and we have to split the rest of them so we're going to have to have three policies to cover the value of all the property here. That results in higher costs, not just not not to mention just their premium increases, but now we have three different policies that we're paying for because they'll only insure ten million dollars at a time. So, we so four sixty one is if we just write the check today. Now we have the option if we limit our named storm loss coverage to twenty five million per incident, which in so the the agents have run all of the scenarios and, and got all the reports because they have they're going to have to present them to fema um the worst storm that has ever affected louisiana back in 1967 or something i can't remember what the name of it was if they pro if they time value of money did the storm to now it would only be 4.4 million dollars worth of damage you know today's cost so they feel safe in recommending that we cap our named storm loss coverage at 25 million now just keeping in mind we have so the jail i think is the one we have the highest valued at 20 million if we had to re if it got if it just got demolished and we had to rebuild that sucker 20 million but i mean it's a block building i mean you can't burn yeah, it down it's gonna stay there. you know yeah. it's going to take something catastrophic to do Tornado. damage i mean even with the flood we did we did less than two hundred thousand dollars worth of damage on the jail with the flood um so that's an option i wanted to give to you if we go with that just capping the named storm loss limit at 25 million per incident we save fifty three thousand dollars this year that that premium goes down to 408. so you got a way to risk and the reward on that jennifer what, what Go ahead. Well, no, go ahead. What if we limited, what if we just capped it at 10 million? What if we just said we're only going to insure 10 That's, million? I can go back to them with any configuration y'all want to. Absolutely. Well, I mean, I'm just saying that, I mean, think and, about And listen, but, but this is something else that, that you have to weigh in. FEMA is going to require us. FEMA's rule right now says you have to have reasonable coverage. So, I mean, I could argue in court what reasonable is or is not all day long based upon what I think. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what I think or what you think or what Mark thinks. 
FEMA's the one who's going to decide, do they think your coverage is reasonable or not? And therefore, will they assist you in the future or not assist you in the future? Which is the issues that we've run into while we had to um, secure flood insurance this year or last year that we typically have never carried flood insurance because number one, we've never flooded. Number two, FEMA would cover that. Well, when FEMA had all of the losses from the 2016 flood, they then came back and said, we are requiring you to have reasonable coverage or we will not provide assistance to you in the future if, in any form. So if you drop it to 10 million and our total insurable value is 69 or 75 million, you know, if you, if you cap on incident at 10 and they're like, well, you know, that's 18% coverage, should your entire swath get wiped out, is FEMA going to come back and say you didn't have reasonable coverage? You're now not getting any assistance from us in the future. You know, I, and I don't know the yeah. answer to that. Yes, sir, Mr. Andy. Can, can I ask a question? Yes, sir. Sure. Um, are we talking about FEMA's assistance on our property, or are we talking about the, uh, their assistance throughout the parish? Uh, Mark, you can clarify for me. From what I understand with conversating with them is they don't care what kind of insurance it is. If you're not reasonably covered, they are not going to provide any type of assistance in the future. Correct. For, for the entire parish? For the entire right. parish. Okay. Yes, That's sir. what you would, yeah. Okay. So, so, so if we decide to cap our per incident name storm deductible, I mean name storm loss coverage at $25 million, which I think would be re reasonable because the highest value building we have is the jail and it's at 20 and like i said it's a block building you can't burn it down you know um we can save fifty three thousand dollars off the annual premium for property coverage now what the the silver lining in this is that because these underwriters are capping their writings at 10 million dollar insurable value and we're having to layer multiple policies to get total coverage we are we broke out equipment from property or building insurance so at, because we broke out our equipment and we're we're insuring a less total value and we can go with different um, carriers that only do equipment coverage we have some options right now our equipment deductible is um, ten thousand dollars if, if it's not ten thousand dollars I don't even file it on insurance they're not, they're not covering it we'll just pay cash you know if we pay an additional $3,700 premium buys our deductible down to $1,000. So if like we file million. one equipment claim, it's more than we've yeah, paid we, for it. Absolutely. I think that's, that, a that's good one. some options. So we is that decided. something you need tonight, or can we wait until the next finance meeting? Or is, I need it to know by Monday because everything renews February. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm good and, with and the 25 we, million dollar cap. What about you guys? I'm good with We this. just got this information this evening. I, I All think, of the carriers are holding on to information until the last minute. Nobody <laughs> wants to leave any money on the table. I mean, it is, it is yeah. just crazy with insurance right now. And I also think the $3,700 needs to be done. And then I agree. That's yeah. personally what I would, would go with, but I don't want to stand up here in six months and be like, I mean, I was wrong. So, are you guys okay with the twenty-five million cap? Million what about the thirty-seven hundred dollars difference in the? Yeah, I'm good with the thirty-seven. I think too. so too. So yeah. And and, and this this um, <clears throat> even the four hundred eight. If we go with the reduced and get the four hundred eight thousand dollars premium, that's only for building. I haven't even told y'all about the auto yet. Yeah, I know, and it's uh, going to get that may get reduced, and we'll get a refund if we get some of these properties off of parish books. You know, I, I thought there's two pretty big ones that we're sort of in the works of getting away from us we will not have to that's something those. we can't use it you don't need to they need to go it's, it's, we're working on it but okay. it's it's time it's slow all right so yes uh, yes on both okay. of those miss jennifer oh uh, okay um and we we, we and run then, out of time so we really recommendation, recommendation for her to go ahead and proceed yeah, yeah. i just need a verbal is fine with me so we have to just send it over Y'all would make a recommendation, recommendation to, to the, the council. council. To the okay. Council. Yeah, we want to put a recommendation to the council to approve for the $25 million cap and the $3,700 additional premium. Okay. Auto insurance is going up $45,000 a year. It, it just is what it Nothing is. Everybody's going up. I, I don't know what they're, how they're, they said the way, how, they, how many vehicles are we talking about? Um, I didn't put that in here. Sorry. I mean, 20, 25, 30. Oh, no. Look. <laughs> I don't know. I'll, I'll look it up, though, and let you know. 
It's, it's um, the problem is nobody wants to write it, so they can charge whatever they want to. Nobody wants to write municipal auto because they run into everybody. I mean, it's yeah. like nobody wants to insure the post office. You know. Right. They hit everyone. Um, those are messed up right when they get. But them. our workers' comp went down twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> Yay! A win. Okay. That's that's all I have. Okay. Is there anything else you guys need to talk to Miss Jennifer about tonight? Uh, nope. All right. Well, I need a motion to adjourn. Motion. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right.